Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and it's camera review week. So in vlog number 39, we are going to look at the Bodio Clearview HD 20SE versus the PTZ Optics 20X SDI. So this should be a fun uh, little webinar and let's go ahead and get started. So let's start by looking at the backs of these units here and uh, oh, let's go to the front there. So as you can see in the back of the Vadio Clearview, we have HDMI, RS-232, and an analog output, and also uh, network easy power, which is really nice. On the PTZ Optics, we have, I'll stop that there, a little further, a line in. We have a network, a USB 3 or an HD SDI, depending on the, the 20X model you're looking at, HDMI, and RS-232 in and out with the ability to daisy chain. So those are the cameras we're going to look at. We're going to, I have them both set up here, so we're going to look at side-by-side -side test footage. We're going to look at opening of the box. We are going to look at everything we can, the menus, the setup, everything about these cameras. So let's start with a really nice little opening of the box compilation here. Um, on the left-hand side, we have the Vadio Clearview HD20 um, HE, not SE. Sorry about that. Um, and then the 20X SDI G2 here on the right hand side. So they're both being opened here. Um, they both have similar features uh, as far as what's included in the box. They both have a manual remote control. Um, there's a little breakout there for uh, DB9 uh, so that you can control it uh, on the body o side. The PTZ Optics one comes with the DB9 to 8 pin mini DIN adapter. Um, manuals. And um, then, of course, they both come with batteries for the remote controls, the power supplies. And then, of course, uh, the Vadio has a two-year warranty. The PTZ Optics has a three-year warranty. Um, and then the cameras pop out, obviously. So we're going to show you some side-by-side -side footage and show you what they look like. I think that kind of shows everything that comes in the box. Um, let's take a look at the remote controls because I feel like that there's a little bit of a difference there, not too much, but there's going to be a full review here. Um, the difference here is the main difference is that the um, they're just actually you know what they're similar size. The Vadio can control three cameras via one IR remote. PTZ Optics can control four. Uh, the Vadio has six preset buttons uh, right on the remote. The PTZ Optics has nine. No big differences there. Slow and fast uh, PTZ there. You can see on both sides. Uh, they both have that easy to get backlight button and the manual focus, which is obviously really important. So in general, they have about the same feature sets on the IR remote. And I bring that up because most people use the IR remote to control their cameras. Uh, although a lot of people use our joystick controllers, uh, most people still use um, IR remotes. and There's nothing wrong with that. That's what they're there for. Um, so let's go ahead. I have them side by side set up here and I want to look at these. So on the, the left hand side, I guess there's, I can't do that. Uh, we have the Vadio Clearview 20 uh, HE, not the SE, sorry about that. And the PTZ Optics 12X SDI. So one of the first things I want to do is I want to uh, zoom out on both and look at the field of view. So one of the things you'll see is that it's similar, quite similar actually, um, and the specs, which I will pull up here, are going to support the fact that they are very similar. Um, here's our side-by-side -side comparison here. Uh, you can see that the fields of view are almost identical, about 61 on the PTZ Optics and 63 on the Vadio Clearview there. Uh, both 1080p60 uh, cameras, uh, HDMI on both cameras, which is what we're using to record here. Although the 20X SDI model it has HD SDI and, anal uh, and IP streaming, the Clearview has analog only, no IP streaming on this model. And there's a significant difference on presets there. And then about the similar um, main lux. Now, I do think that the Vadio Clearview has wide dynamic range. And we're going to dig into that. So I might have to update that part of it. But let's, let, let's take a look at the cameras side by side. So that's fully zoomed out. They look very similar. Now let's go all the way in on the Vadio Clearview. Now, this is a 20X camera. So it goes in really far. Right, is that... 
Okay, so that's as far as it goes in. And you can see it goes nice and smooth the whole time. Zoom it all the way in. And let's take this 1080p60 full screen. So that's what it looks like all the way out, all the way in. And it's a good picture. A little overexposed. We're going to we're going to try to get the exposure perfect. Uh, and look at that. Just great. Now, let's go back to our PTZ optics side by side here. Let's go all the way in with the PTZ optics. Okay. It's a little dark, um, and I can I can edit that and change it. But that's now. Let's look at these two together. Okay, so there's the PTZ optics. There is the Vadio. So let me just go ahead. So I have I have this set to a specific. Um, let's just go ahead and desaturate it a little bit. Let's get these images so that they're they're similar. I'm going to turn the contrast up just a hair. So I want these two cameras to be shown off side by side pretty closely. So there's the PTZ optics. There's the Vadio fully zoomed in. PTZ optics, Vadio. Now let's look at them side by side. Let's zoom the PTZ optics all the way out. There we go. Let's zoom the Vadio all the way out. There we go. Um, so that gets us to where we want to be there. Um, now let's go ahead and look at the settings on each camera. Let's start with the Vadio. So the Vadio, um, unlike the RoboShot, which you have to put on the network to test the settings, on the Vadio Clearview, you have these options here. And uh, we played with them to try to get them just right. Um, SSDR will actually turn in. I'm indoors right now, so I found that the white balance on indoor works well. There is no one push, uh, which is a feature that was is really nice for PTZ optics, which we'll show. Uh, the backlight, it takes a second. It kind of it kind of restarts when you do that. Uh, no need for that here. So we will go and then d w d r is wide dynamic range. So this camera does have wide dynamic range. So it has high middle and low. Uh, we don't need that for this setting, so I'm going to actually turn that off. I think it looks better without it. And um, let's see, what is the intelligence here? I guess just on, off. I'm not sure what that does. When you turn it on, oh wow, facial tracking. This is not an auto tracking camera, but it has some intelligent things that I actually have no idea what these do. I believe it has something to do with focus. Uh, when we go into focus, see that's where that zoom track and focus track. Um, digital zoom, we have that off. Um, so there's a lot of options in here. Exposure, I tried to get the exposure right. To me it looks a little bright. So I'm going to turn it down just a little more. Uh, I put the iris on auto uh, and I tried to tweak the manual to be to be ideal. Um, in fact, look, that does look better because it was. I think it was overexposed. So This camera is, real, is a really nice camera, I'm not going to lie. So Look at that, 5.6. That actually is, is where I want it, right there. Um, shutter, we're going to leave automatic because we, we just played with the iris there. Um, SRG low, medium high. Again, I'm just trying to go through to, to get the best possible picture here um, for this. And then there's special. Uh, obviously, we want color. That was kind of cool. That was like a side. Yes, we obviously want color. Uh, I don't think we need to do too much in here. Image adjust. Okay, this is the vertical flip. So in case you want to do it in the ceiling, which is nice. Sharpness. Uh, usually I like it a little less sharp, but let's see here. That that is a nice option. This was not available. Sharpness was not available on the RoboShot. Let's sharpen that image up without getting too much gain. You can see a little noise in the back, so we'll leave it at 15. Okay. So. This is a really good image. It's about as best image I can get on the Vadio. Now, let's go ahead and move over to our um, PTZ optics here and see if we can get as good as image as possible on our PTZ optics as well. So, zoom in. Go like this. Okay, so. Let's review uh, the options here. 
Um, uh, fact, I gotta just zoom out just a hair. There we go. All right, so exposure. Uh, we have the iris at 1.8. Okay, looks good. Manual mode's always the best. Saturation, okay, yes. Right, let me just put this over here so I can see side by side. Okay. All right, just trying to get the best possible picture. Okay. See, if you get too much contrast, you lose some. So I'm going to go like that and take that down. There we go. It's a default, but you see I lo lose some detail in my shirt, so I want to leave that at 4.5. Okay. So now let me just zoom in a little. Trying to keep these, these <laughs> as short as possible, but there's so many options in these cameras. Okay, so here's the PTZ optics. Here's the Vadio. Vadio looks a little washed out. I'm sure there's some settings in there that I could change, but I think this is giving everyone a pretty good overview. Um, I'm going to B&H Photos site here just to show this camera is 4,225 here. Um, just showing that off. There's a review here positive review. It says, really decent picture. I use two of these along with the Vadio Precision Controller, primarily as a point of view camera for concert iMag. As long as you have good lighting and the CCU provided by Precision Controller, you can get a really decent image. You're not going to get an image like a three-chip camera. Also, at max zoom, the image is subject to vibration from low-frequency concert volumes. Now, let's go to the PTZ Optics. We have three reviews here. Um, we bought two of them because much work in corporate events and quality is awesome, lens and silent movement as well. I used this product at a high, high school graduation this week as part of a two camera live stream. It looked great. I was able to manage the entire production myself with no problems. So just some reviews there. You know, everyone needs to stay informed. That's really it, everybody. Uh, quick overview. I hope it was helpful. It's camera review week this week. Oh, can't forget. This Friday, which is October um, 14th, we are doing a um, live shootout. It's all about the optics camera shootout here. So it's in 50 hours, just two days. Don't forget to come to this. If you have anything you want to see out of this camera, we're taking them to go live stream sports. Um, we're going to do low light settings. And we're really going to dig into the differences between these cameras. I hope this has been helpful. If you want to see anything on the live show on Friday, specifically for these cameras, leave your comments in the link below. Don't forget to like this video. Enjoy, everybody. Take care.